Moonlands, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's Manga Nerd Again Live reaction video is going to be for Moonland Chapter 74. So last chapter was very Haikyuu meets Piano no Mori. Um, I really loved seeing how um, the gymnastics team has influenced Uryu. And you know what? I gotta include Kota Oto Tamer in there as well because we've seen this kind of thing happen in that manga as well and it's just amazing to see it. But I'm very curious if we're going to get a little bit more of Uryu's um, backstory before we get to Mitsu's um, time on the floor. Because that to me would make the most sense. Because I really want a little bit more of, more of Uryu's story. But anyway, it looks like we're getting to um, an Akira event or his final um, event. So let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us this week. There are a million reasons why we can't lose this. Go, 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 Kanudai! Only a select few can sit on the winner's throne. Uh, we're counting on you next, Akira. Yeah, and that was, um, Yoshizane, Zane, uh, Fujigami on the horizontal bar, and he just finished up with, uh, 13.90 points. That's pretty good. But what are the reasons for wanting to win? And chapter 74 is titled, Apollo Under the Wall. And I gotta say, Namagishi, this is a very deep question. Do you win because you're the strongest, or do you become strong in order to win? This is like a chicken and the egg question. I love this. I love this question. <sighs> What's wrong, Akira-san? I remembered something I shouldn't have. Oh, <laughs> he doesn't want to ap apologize to Sakura. <laughs> I really can't afford to lose today. Don't let your guard, uh, ooh, don't let down your guard. The floor is his, his, his best event. Ooh, Yamagishi, you are getting me hyped. I was already hyped for Sakura's floor for, me, um, uh, for, for many, many reasons, but ooh, you got me hyped even more. I've never once thought of myself as talented. Talent is something you can't obtain no matter how hard you wish for it. Don't say that, Akira-san. What am I supposed to do if you tell me that? Ooh, that's some nice, that's an E-level, uh, Coleman. That is nice. Mm. A brilliant execution. He caught the bar at a good position. Akira Degasekun is the only one to have scored 14 or higher on the, um, all five events so far. This horizontal bar determines whether he reclaims the team and individual championship. I'm telling ya. Yamagishi, you better have my boy Sakura on the floor. He better be flying and breaking through that cage. Wine on the floor as if he drank some Red Bull. Because, you know, Red Bull gives you wings. I swear, I better be seeing that. And I better be crying from that. I want to see my boy fly. Each and every slight movement of his radiates skill. It's a, um, it's a sec, um, wait, sec, uh, Giant combination, a C level, um, stooping to back toss, a D level sec, um, sorry, it's check. Yeah. Um, it's a check giant combination, a C level, uh, stooping to back toss, a D level check giant, and a C level coste. His routine, his routine aims for a higher, uh, E score by reducing the number of twists, since those are easy, easy to lose points on. Woo, this movement is beautiful. And, Normally, I would be bitching about um, symbolic metaphorical art. But with Akira, it's understandable. Because remember what Akira said. Akira doesn't feel anything when he does gymnastics. So it makes sense um, to not have uh, metaphorical symbolic slash symbolic art. You can snapshot any any in an instant... Um, Oh, sorry. Where is it? You can snapshot any instant, and it'll be flawless. Um, but God, this is beautiful. A solid performance right through to the landing. He finishes the final event with another fourteen. He sure is strong. Give it all you've got. Okay, I will say this though, in regards to Akira, this final event, something I wish I would have gotten to see though. Because remember, Akira is very conflicted um, 
with his feelings. I really wish we kind of would have seen it on the bar um, via the metaphorical art. But at the same time, he was striving so much for perfection that it makes sense not to have it. So it's kind of like, it's kind of a, oh God, it's kind of like stuck between a rock and a hard place on this. But anyway, I was naive. I thought I could become as strong as him by being on the same team. I didn't understand anything about the nature of Akira-san's strength. Look at my baby Apollo! He's just so adorable! Like, I want to protect Apollo so badly. What's blocking my way is time. Oh, this art is gorge! A lot of gymnasts have de dedicated a ton of time to the sport. Um, oh god, I love, love Apollo's art. I love Apollo's art so much. Um, it's been consistent since the very start where he's looking down um, on, his, uh, on himself. Like, it's an out-of-body experience kind of thing because remember he, practiced, he practices the movements with his doll before he does it himself. So it's like an out-of-body thing when he does it. I love it. Love it. What comes naturally to Akira-san is extremely difficult for me. I cannot overcome this wall! Yes! Love, love, love! Love this art. Yamagishi, this is perfection. You are giving me what I want, which is metaphorical art. I can't overcome it, Akira-san. Oh, this is... Oh, this page. Look at this. This is so beautiful. Oh, this movement and also the lighting. Mmm. This is perfection. An E-level um, Luikun, so basically that's a layout um, to Kotchev with one twist. Crap, the timing's off. I'm gonna fall. Ooh, he caught the bar, it was close, but he made it. Even even though we can't afford any mistake uh, mistakes, he's still going for that D-score. It's okay, Apollo. We've been working hard together this um, whole time too. Oh, the doll! We can do anything as long as you can imagine it. Yes! The recovery went well. Um, my lower back still isn't quite straight, but I can fix this. Uh, we have the same amount of time going forward. Ooh, this is so beautiful. A D-level layout, um, uh, Chikachev, uh, into a C-level open leg, Chikachev. No! He twisted before grabbing the ball. It's a D-level lynch. This is so beautiful. I really love this art. Um, he linked two D-level flight elements. That's an extra point two points. He fearlessly continues to press on. Uh, woo! An F-level winkler. Oh, my God. Yamagishi. Oh, this is perfection. Talent is something uh, that you can't obtain no matter how hard you wish for it. For it. Oh, look at that. Dismount. First dismount. An E-level layout. Rudolph. That's exactly why I want victory, which I can obtain. Victory and defeat are fair to everyone. That is freaking deep. That is deep. I wanna, I'm going to read that again. Victory and defeat are fair to everyone. And I'm going to read this last thing from... From Apollo um, as well. I because re I really love this line from Apollo. Also, this this art is just mm. um, talent is something that you can't obtain no matter hard, how hard you wish for it. That's exactly why I want victory, which I can obtain. This is so fantastic. I love this. I love 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 this so much, Yamagishi. This is everything that I wanted and more. I love, love this for Apollo. And it's really interesting to see how there's this contrast going on between um, Apollo and Akira. And in a way, it's very similar to what's going on between Sakura and, um, and Mitsu. Apollo and, it's really interesting how much in common Apollo and Sakura have. It really is. It's, it's very fascinating. Um, how much Apollo and Sakura have in common. It really is because they're both striving to get over this wall to beat Akira. And um, and the other thing that's very interesting is how much in common, in a way, how much in common Mitsu and 
um, how much in common Mitsu and Akira have. Uh, in a way, they do. Um, because they're striving to find the same freedom and fun that Sakura just naturally has. And it's kind of the same thing with Apollo. Apollo already has that freedom and that fun. And both Apollo and Sakura don't really realize it yet. And, there, and the other thing with Apollo and Sakura that I find fascinating is, and I think that's why I like them so much, plus they're adorable, is that they're both overcoming their own, um, their own wall. And I find that very interesting. And yeah, you can make the argument Mitsu is doing that too in his own way. Is, well, Mitsu is kind of... Here's the thing with Mitsu and Akira that's very similar. Mitsu and Akira are both stuck. They are. They're stuck. At, compared to, like, say, Sakura and, um, and Apollo, who are making progress to overcome themselves. You have Mitsu and... Akira, who are kind of stuck, they're striving to like to to find their to find that freedom, but and freedom and fun, but they're really stuck. I really find that fascinating. I don't know if anyone else is noticing that, or if it's just me, but I really love the direction that Yamagishi is going in, and I feel like this art, the how Yamagishi is executing the metaphorical slash. Um, symbolic art really reflects that and I love it um and I can't it really gets me excited to see what Yamagishi gonna do for um soccer on the floor especially with what Akira just said about the floor being uh Sakura's uh specialty his best event oh man you got me excited for that I want to see Sakura again I want to see Sakura fly I do. Especially, I feel like this this foreshadowing here with the wall um, that Apollo is trying to um, overcome. I feel like that's a foreshadowing of what we're going to see with Sakura, in a way. That Sakura, that we're going to have that sense of freedom. That, he, that Sakura is going to, oh, if we see Sakura like fly over a wall, I would totally be down with that too. And that, inspire, that inspires Apollo. I would so be okay with that. Please do it. Please do it, Yamagishi. I'm really excited for when we get to the floor. Even uh, even more than I already was. I'm really looking forward to what you do, Yamagishi. I really am. I'm really curious what you guys think um, in terms of the art this week for Apollo. And do you guys see the similarities between Apollo and Sakura? Um, and also to an extent, Mitsu and Akira. And do you think that... Um, in terms of um, in terms of metaphorical art, do you think that Apollo's art that we saw this week is kind of a foreshadowing of what we're gonna get with, um, with Sakura, like overcoming this wall? I really hope that's the case because remember, Sakura was stuck behind a, a wall, you know, trying to catch up to Akira, and I feel like he's gonna overcome it. I feel like we're gonna see him overcome that wall that Apollo was trying to do. And also, what did you guys think of this writing? This, man, Yamagishi, the writing is getting very, very deep. Well, it was always deep, but it's getting better and better, at least for me. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more Moonland content, there's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something on my Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, from me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later.